What's up guys, how's it going? This is Bharat and welcome back to yet another video. As you guys would have guessed from the title of this video, I'm going to be solving or giving you guys my best tips to work out your bulldozer issues. As a lot of you know, over the last two to three weeks, I've been primarily working on Kiwi related applications. I'm also using external libraries like OpenCV, Tesseract and there are a bunch of other things that we have done. And you guys have been primarily pointing out that you are not able to build these uh, Kiwi applications into a proper APK and that you are hitting a lot of issues. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my best tips on what are the steps to follow in order to debug these issues much, much more faster. So without any further ado, let's get this video started. All right, so this is a simple application that I've written and I've actually used an external library called as uh, we actually use an external library called as an audio interface or the player audio. And uh, the primary issue that you guys have been talking about is that there's one comment that I said that uh, this is not this is not proper. This will not build into a proper APK. And the primary reason is that there are few things that might be missing in your system. And I cannot directly guarantee that this is the best step to make this work because every system is unique. There are a few dependencies that we might that might be missing. And considering that the Kiwi itself is an open source. Uh, project you might be also missing few additional documentations that might be definitely required to fix this issue so first thing i would recommend is to let's say that you are trying to build your bulldozer right and the command that you run is bulldozer uh, in it and as soon as you run it it will create a spec file and you go inside and you write out all of those things even before you go and provide the external libraries or the requirements that you'd be filling out primarily right here you go right here and you're filling out python 3 and kiwi so my recommendation is when you're trying to fill out this python 3 right this will by default present uh, you will find that you what you are running in your local system for example if you put python 3 hyphen hyphen version this is 3.7.8 so i'm primarily running this whole thing on a python 3.7.8 however when i'm trying to build it into an apk i'm using the latest version of python 3 which is python 3.9 and this will try to build everything with python 3.9 which might not be working so my recommendation is first make sure that in case you are trying to build something ensure that what you are trying to build in your local is also the same requirement that is given in your bulldozer touch pack. that's going to be the first point so how do you fix this you go here and you try to say that you you are forcing it to use only 3.7.8 this is the version that you're trying to use and if there is another requirement like say that you need to use host python uh, which is also another important python library for building most of the other external uh, in, in order to include external libraries again make sure to specify that as well to 3.7.8 Right, this is going to be the first fix. So this is what I've done. Uh, make sure to check what the Python version is. And this is the most important issue or most important mistake that most of you guys do. All right, this is the first step. And uh, there is a bunch of uh, requirements that are also given as part of the, uh, the Python for Android, which is the one bit, which is actually going to be the one that is converting your uh, Python code into an equivalent Android code. If there is a Python library present and it is actually present in pip, there is a 99% chance that it's, it can be converted into an equivalent Android, uh, Android recipe or Android package. And in order to do that, make sure to understand what the library is doing. And you, you will see that you definitely need to have all these basic setup present in your system. And this is actually going to be continuously changing. Let's say that is a Python 3.9 version already released. There's going to be Python 4.0, Python 4.1, and it is going to keep going. And you you gotta understand that everything is like interdependent on each other. There is a bunch of thing, things that you need to be having in your local present. Only then this all of these uh, issues will not pop up. And uh, in order to fix that issue, my another second recommendation is to always try to run it on Ubuntu system. The reason why Ubuntu system is being uh, talked about here is primarily because that all of these development activities are going to be happening primarily on Ubuntu system. There is a developer who's going to uh, from the Kiwi team is going to primarily test it out on Ubuntu system and then only try going to push it so there's a 99.5 99.9 percent .9 chance that this issue would have been faced by somebody else and they will have an answer ready for you and uh, even though i am still developing things on my mac you can see that it's on my mac i would still not recommend you guys to try to build something on a mac uh, i have faced issues i'm not going to say that i did not face any issues i have faced equal amount of issues when trying to build things on mac because of its uh, differences the os differences that's going to be giving you a lot of lot of uh, lot of problems all right so if you have a windows system you can definitely uh, do a re dual boot or even run a virtual environment 
with your Ubuntu software, Ubuntu OS, and you can definitely try this out. So these are my second recommendations. The third recommendation is to always keep a look into how this Python for Android works. If you go here, there's a bunch of related documentation, and there's also going to be a lot of uh, frequently faced issues. There's also a support Discord channel that you can take a look into and ask your queries. And you will find that uh, most of you guys say that when you try to open your uh, Android uh, app, when you there are this bunch of issues like Android app is building, but I'm trying to install it to my phone, I'm trying to open it, it is actually crashing on start. And I try to take the lock at from there, there is a 99 point I should say 100% chance that it's something related to your code that you have written. Because if it's building properly, there is a high chance that your code is not being written properly. Now, building issues will happen only where there is a dependency problem, meaning that you have some version of one library present that is dependent on older version of a library or that is dependent on a newer version of a library and then this building will not happen, That's, that will break right there. As I'm scrolling down below, you can you can find that these are actually a bunch of uh, e everyday issues that are happening when you're trying to building from a Python to Android, which is actually using some kind of reflection technology behind or reflection concept behind to build an equivalent Python to an Android related library. So that's going to be a little bit complex because it needs to uh, take code from the compile time and then convert it into an Android equivalent binary. And it's just, these are complex stuff. You cannot directly say that this is going to be super easy. If an Android application or if an Android Android phone is running with the Python as the language of uh, language of programming, then you can very well guarantee that this is going to work fine. But in trying to convert two different compilations, you could trying to convert two different binaries. This is these are issues that that are bound to happen. All right, so so far I've talked about how to fix issues in your local, and uh, this is actually going to be like your step by step. Uh, technique that you need to follow. Check your Python version in the first place. Make sure to have all the equivalent and related Python version. If you have OpenCV, make sure to check what is the OpenCV that is running in your local because when you try to do pip install OpenCV, right? This is going to be installing it in your virtual environment. This is going to be inside your VM that it's going to install and it will pick from there to run it on your local host or in your laptop. But in trying to build it into an APK, it is again doing to, going to pull everything and create its own virtual environment and then from there on only uh, build your APK. So this is going to be like uh, something that most of you guys forget because you think that whatever is installed in your local system is also going to be pulled. This is not going to happen that way. Whatever you are going to give in your requirements, it's going to be pulled directly or it's going to do another kind of a download and then only it's going to try to build so that's my first recommendation second second recommendation is to always keep a lookout or check and uh, check for all the related issues uh, using their uh, discord channel and the third is to always keep an eye on and try to figure out issues uh, that might be popping up in the p4a or the python for android uh, documentation as well all right so if so far uh, i've given you how to fix things in your local host but is there like one kind of one fix to uh, ensure that everything works fine yes i do have one kind of a fix uh, this is something that i found out very recently i'm going to be sharing a page uh, this is uh, one other technique but before that this is what i'm talking about so i've, I've built a google collab kind of uh, i'm just I'm, i've uh, written some commands here i've uh, given you guys all the steps that you need and uh, all you need to do is i'll share a link for this in the description below all you need to do is just open it and share it with your or open it and make sure to give permissions it's actually uh, open for all so once you are actually present or once you open this link you'll find that it is actually going to set up something like this it will give you 125 gb of uh, disk space and close to 12 gb of ram to do all this kind of things on the cloud. You know, you don't have to do anything about it. And Google Collab is already running on a Linux based system, primarily Ubuntu on the background. So if you can see here, it's actually giving you about uh, 125 GB of disk space and close to, uh, I can see that here. So it's going to give you to close to 12 GB of RAM. So all of these things work will work prime, uh, will work without any failure. So this is what you do. You open this link and you do all these installations. You click here, you click here, you click here click 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 finish all the clicking just click this this is going to be doing all the installation for you i'm trying to do it for you guys to show how this works and once you come uh, to this step and you've finished all the installation it automatically take some time and do it for you and this is the important step you got to click this and it will ask for a key give you a link and ask for a key and you're trying to basically take the package from your drive or your Google Drive. So once you have your basic package built in your local host, this is the package, you will be uploading this entire, this is something that I built, I just wrote Kiwi Ads as my project name. You take this Kiwi project, uh, Kiwi Ads, and you push it into your Google Drive. 
and this this connection here will basically link your google drive to your google collab and from there on you can actually try to do your bulldozer build easily so this is actually giving like in one space if you don't have a linux system or if you don't have the capacity to build a virtual environment you can use this technique and this techniques works uh, pretty much almost all the time you don't have to worry about anything this is actually a free system setup as well google collab is trying to give you that for up to 125 gb of disk space who, who does that right and once you're done and finishing till this step uh, make sure to mount your drive meaning that connecting between your drive and your collab and you can find that here you will find that all this all the drives being present this is something that if, uh, that's actually present here and you can once you get your drive uh, link present you go to that space by going to cd just do a cd to that space for example let's say my my location is something like this and uh, drive slash my drive slash uh, kiwi ads because that is the project name that i have and i've also uploaded it to my google drive once you've done that just cd into that space and run a bulldozer in it so this is the first third step you're going to do and you're going to be doing the fourth step of bulldozer in it uh, once this is done you will be having your spec file present right here click on the spec file and to your right you will have your bulldozer spec file being shown make sure to do all the changes keep the first three steps i said in mind always make sure to give what is the python version that is actually running in your local give that also right here so if you have built if you have tried to do all your local coding and programming in python 3.8 make sure to pass it right on the bulldozer spec file and you don't have to upload your bulldozer spec file at all once you do your bulldozer in it you can then do the changes right on the browser itself finally run your bulldozer android debug and you will find that your apk is built i'll share a simple video now this is something that i tried yesterday before trying to uh, make this video you'll find that it ran for about 17 minutes and by the end of the 17 minutes i was able to solve my issue basically this pipe this uh, this issue that i had with the uh, the audio player uh, this was actually going to be this was easily solved because i did not uh, there was this bunch of issues that i was facing with my mac os uh, when but once i tried to run it on my linux system which is the ubuntu here it ran without any issue i was able to finish it so i've also given all the important libraries that you need all the, all the dependencies that you need as part of this collab uh, itself collab notebook itself just click on it open it and do all the steps and you'll find that your apk is present right in in your drive itself so it'll upload it upload your uh, debug apk back to your drive and you can download it and try it on your system if you ask me yes this is kind of a lengthier approach because every time you make changes you need to push it and you need to find how it works and things like that so in order to solve that there's another important library as well this is actually the third library this is uh, something that's recommended wherein you can use the bulldozer bulldozer action part by uh, creating a workflow you now github workflow is something where you do just a push and it will create its own ci cd pipeline and try to do all the building part this is something that is also recommended as part of the bulldozer uh, documentation itself just need to understand how this workflow uh, how this workflow is actually and try to do it this is something i would recommend if you are going to be doing a lot of build build, uh, build pushes and trying to build apks if that is going to be the case i would recommend that but for now i would highly recommend you guys to just check out the first two steps try to fix your local and try to use the google collab and try to do that all right guys so that's it from me hopefully you will learn how to solve or debug your kiwi related bulldozer issues and even if you guys still face a lot of more issues and you guys are not able to solve it uh, i'm going to be coming out with a stream of sorts or like 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 a live stream in another two weeks time uh, where you can share me your code project either via github links or you can upload it to your drive and share me the link and i'm going to be opening this live uh, code and try to uh, solve this bulldozer issues that you're facing a uh, debug this bulldozer issue that you're facing on live so i'm trying to go i'm going to be doing that i'm going to be preparing to do that in another two weeks time i'll share all the information that is required in, in another week's time so make sure to be stay tuned for that you can subscribe to the channel in the meantime drop a like for this video i'll see you guys next one until then Bharat, peace out have a super awesome day